Hello, my name is Arenia White, and today I'll be taking you to Parma in the Emilia Romana region of Italy, where we'll be seeing a very special production of Parmigiano Reggiano. Let's go! Arriving at the Solo di Bruna dairy, we quickly put on coats, shoe covers, and hair nets before entering the cheese production room where the master cheesemaker Giuseppe and his wife were starting the early stages of production. In a large copper vat, the brown Swiss cow milk was being heated with the addition of calf rennet to form the curd. Giuseppe used a large thermometer as well as his hand to measure the progress of the milk. Once the curd began to separate from the whey, a large instrument called the spino was brought in. This contraption is specially made to crush curd into small grains. This process is called spinatura. The curd is moved to large copper vats where they will form the cheese mass, weighing in at about 45 kilos. which is then lifted by hand in large linen cloths and hung before being cut in half to create two wheels. The use of copper is traditional in Italian cheese making and is still used for its ability to conduct heat and kill bacteria. After being gently shaped by the cloth, the wheels are transferred to their molds where they will sit for one day before a plastic belt is added that has the characteristic Parmigiano riding and label. This will become the beautiful rind. The month and year are added as well as a QR code that verifies the batch and makes every wheel traceable. The wheels will then be submerged in a salt bath for 20 days before moving to the aging room. The trays of Italian salt on the surface of the water have small holes so the water is as saturated with salt as possible. This paired with the special brown cow milk gives the cheese its incredible flavor. After trying the leftover cream that will be turned into butter, we headed to the farm to see what makes Solo di Bruna different from other Parmigianos. At the farm, we met Marina, the vet and manager of the ranch. So we, we have about 1,950 1, cows. Different because the taste, it's more, I don't know the name in English, velucrato, mm. more um, like soft, okay. uh, like mm. a cream. Uh, need more time to become ready. Yeah. Because, um, uh, usually we take 24 mouths mm -hmm. for have a good cheese. Uh, in this case, uh, you can go uh, until 48 without any problem because uh, it tastes not too much salt because it's creamy. But uh, they don't produce so many milk, so the okay. milk uh, have a quality, uh, a better quality than the other milk. For this. Yeah, but less. Yes, because it's less and they feed with more grass than the black and white. Okay. We have more grass inside. Okay. We just did it, you can smell. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's, it's very really fresh. fresh. It's just, yeah. uh, and we can't use uh, no feed fermentation. So tomorrow morning, if mm -hmm. they don't eat everything, we, we need to get out. Marina has a special relationship with all the cows and you can see their excitement when she walks by. There is a level of care that you don't see at a lot of farms. The stalls are clean, there's plenty of room, and the grass is fresh. Never left for even a day as the fermentation could be harmful to the animals. 
The grass is also ecological. There are no pesticides or chemicals used in the fields. After finishing our time with the calves, Marina invited us to her home just a few minutes down the road for a classic Italian aperitivo and to see her personal little farm, complete with a pet cow, chickens, rabbits, the sweetest dog, two cats, and a mini horse. We enjoyed prosciutto and salami, prosecco and fresh focaccia, but the clear star of the table were pieces from a 50-month-old wheel of Solo di Bruna Parmigiano. After we said our goodbyes to Marina, Francesco took us to what was referred to as the Cheese Cathedral, and you'll see why. Floor to ceiling, hundreds of thousands of wheels in varying stages of aging. If you're a cheese lover, this is heaven. Each wheel in its proper place, based on location, batch number, or age to receive the ultimate temperature and humidity ensuring that each wheel turns out as perfectly as possible. Parmigiano that is sold in the USA is typically aged between 12 and 24 months and very rarely will you see a 30 month old in the States. Pino demonstrates how he checks for damage or air bubbles within the wheel using a specially honed skill. With his trained ear, Pino can use a small mallet and locate any small problems within the wheels. Every act is done with respect to tradition, from quality assurance to cracking open a 30-month-old wheel. A special knife called taglia grana with an almond-shaped blade is used to cut thin pieces from the wheel's surface. It's incredibly beautiful to see in person and to hear the love that everyone has for this extraordinary product. I felt very lucky to have been invited to share in this process and have the opportunity to share it with you as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, share with your friends and family. Thank you to Francesco, Pino, Marina, and Agatina, and the whole team for sharing your day with us and making it such an incredibly special visit. We look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!